PLA versus PTG versus PLA Plus, which one is the best? Okay, so starting off, we have some 1.5 kilo weights. We actually have two of them. So, PLA first, we'll place the first way, and it seems to be good. I'm right, moving on to the second way. It's a little bit wobbly, and oh, it falls and actually crushes the leg. Now, technically, this is a pass because it actually crushed, as you can see. Moving on to PTG. This is the first weight, okay, it looks good. Second weight, yep, a bit wobbly still, but it's all right. Okay, it falls, this time it doesn't crush the table, that's all right. Okay, so it looks like that's a pass. All right, PLA plus, that's the first weight. Second weight, okay, it falls. Okay, so with that said, all three things pass this test, so on to test two. Now, just one simple smash, okay, and the PLA is gone. You can see that's actually quite crumbly and just sort of bends and snaps at will. But uh, yeah, now onto the PTG. Okay, that's one hit, two hits. It's cracked even. Three hits, okay. Doing some real damage now. Okay, four hits. Oh, how is that even, like what? It still even stands up as a table. Oh my gosh. Five hits is what it takes to break this thing. So PT doesn't really snap. It kind of just sort of breaks. All right, PLA plus, okay, two hits. All right, you can see it's a bit deformed there, but still going. Three, okay, four, five, wow. Okay, it's quite bent at this point. And six, finally it breaks. Took six hits to break. That's still pretty good though. Now, it appears that PLA Plus as a material is quite flexible and strong at the same time, which are actually both pretty good properties. All right, so test three is just hitting the single leg of the table. PTG, okay, that's pretty good. So it's flexed a bit, but no cracks. PLA Plus, it cracked a bit and flexed a lot. And PLA, it just pretty much crumbled. So yeah, there you go. That's the test.